Could I be eating like a burrito while I'm doing this? Well, it would be in your natural state then. In the first year or so of the show, I was the bane of Brenda Lee Johnson. You know, Flynn was the bane of Brenda Lee Johnson's existence. <laughs> and, uh, but the audiences really liked me a lot. You know, they liked Flynn, and, but they liked her too. So there was this thing about, does Flynn have to be, I mean, people would actually come up to me on the street and say, why do you have to be so mean to her? And I was like, excuse me, what are you talking about? Because, you know, you know, Bre uh, Brenda Lee. And I, I, oh, I, well, you know, I just, this is, you know, what I do. They said, you seem like such a nice guy. I, and so James said, we're going to do a little, you know, tinkering. We're going to rehabilitate your character slightly. And, and then after that, the rest was sort of, you know, history in that it allowed GW and I to, like, expand our, you know, relationship more. And uh, now I was on Brenda's team, you know, wholeheartedly because the character, as I play the character, he is the kind of guy that'll go to the mattresses for somebody out of loyalty. If you've got his back and then you demonstrate that, then he's got your back. I've gotten to know Mary really well. And now it's only, well, she was a couple of years on The Closer. Um, and I genuinely love this woman. I'm very respectful to, of her. You know, the way she, her presence on the set, you know, she's very calm. You know, her demeanor is like pleasant to be around all the time. But yet, she knows what she wants, you know, and she goes for what she thinks she needs. And she's not like, I gotta have this. She's like, she, you know, she's very, she's very cool that way. And, <clears throat> you know, I've gotten to really like uh, Kieran Giovanni. I think she's a sweetheart. Graham, I always call him Grand Slam. Graham Slam, because every scene he's in, he just knocks the ball out of the park. This kid is such a gifted actor. And, you know, certainly Raymond, you know, we have our, we love the scenes we do together, because, you know, Flynn and, and, and Sanchez are always like, you know, these hot-tempered guys, you know, ready to mix it up with whoever, you know, crosses their path. And, uh, and then there's Michael. Michael, Michael uh, Paul Chan and I are constantly making references to The Godfather because his name is Michael. And I'll always like, you know, refer to him as like Michael Corleone because we both almost quote line for line from the movie The Godfather. And then there's Philip, who I've known as long as I've known James. You know, and Philip is, you know, the word for Philip, like, the operative word for him is he's very earnest. You can see he's really trying to make the most he can of buzz and and trying to really be, you know, a presence in the scene. And he's not ever above asking somebody, which is the way I am. He's not ever above asking, uh, above asking somebody, you know, what do you think? You know, do you think this is working? And, you know, I was thinking about trying this. Would you? So a lot of times I'll try stuff with him, you know, in, in the sort of like Provenza Flynn vein. He's really a smart guy, isn't he? And he's very, very talented, and he cares so much. He really does. I mean, he acts like, you know, I call him Grumpasaurus. That's my nickname for him. I say, oh, which side of the world did you wake up today on, you know? We have this relationship, you're right, where it's like we're constantly, you know. And, um, but the playful nature of it is that one day somebody had said to him, well, you know, are they ever going to spin you guys off into, you know, spin you off onto your own show or something like that? You know, and, and he says, yeah, I don't know, maybe. He goes, you know, uh, you know, like called Provenza or something. And he goes, yeah, maybe. He goes, but, you know, if they do something like that, he says, you know, they really got to bring, you know, Flynn. They got to bring Tony along. And they go, oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. So what would the show be called then? He goes, Provenza. <laughs> so, and I, I, it's just hysterical. I never forget that.